check this out this is a live wallpaper that i'm using in windows 11 without any third party application yes windows 11 is getting a live wallpaper support officially and this is actually interesting using live wallpapers this way the official method actually uses less system resources check out the system resources here this is actually a virtual machine in this vm there is only two cores and still look at the cpu usage the only thing that is using cpu is either task manager or file explorer if we use third-party applications to use the live wallpapers yeah it uses a lot more system resources and windows actually had similar feature called windows dream scene in vista now it looks like they are bringing this similar feature in windows 11 yeah after skipping almost <laughs> like how many versions there were seven eight ten yeah after skipping almost three windows versions now this is a hidden feature right now in windows 11 25 h2 beta okay not in the stable release you have to get this tool from github this is a free and open source software to activate the hidden features in windows so you have to go here and download this once you download it this is a zip file so unzip it and after that go to the folder and copy the address of that folder and then you need to open the terminal as administrator and here you need to open the command prompt and here type cd and paste the address of that tool wipe tool okay hit enter now we need to enter this command to activate the live wallpaper so hit enter and it will say successfully set feature configurations now we need to restart our pc after that, we can right click on our desktop and we can go to personalize and then background and here make sure to select the picture. It won't work with the other options. Select picture, browse photos and here uh, select any video file that you have or any live wallpaper video files uh, that are in mp4 format or it actually supports different uh, video formats like MKV, AVI, WMV, MOV, M4V. So I'm going to select this one and choose picture and check this out. Yeah, this one is also very cool. <laughs> okay. And again, it doesn't use much resources. I'm using this in virtual machine and it is running really well. And this is the main reason why I'm so excited for this. I actually like to use live wallpapers, but Windows doesn't support it officially. And we have to use third party applications. When we use third party applications, they use more system resources because they have to use some kind of video player in the background, which uses the system resources but this one i don't know how microsoft is doing this but this is well optimized even on virtual machine this works really well now let me show you guys some third party applications to use live wallpapers so this is called lively wallpaper you have to keep running this in the background you can see here lively ui win ui okay there are multiple processes running in the background and this is not a video file now one of the advantages using third-party application is that you can use some interactive and customizable live wallpapers okay, this is not a video file this is actually a web oh no uh, it's not gonna work in virtual machine because it's too heavy okay look at the cpu usage yeah so i think the official live wallpaper support in windows is better just for the looping videos okay if you want the interactive live wallpapers then the third party apps are still good this is basically a video there is nothing much going on here and you can see it's lagging because it's using its own video player in the background to play that video oh no i can't even close this because it's too much and there is this another free and open source live wallpaper engine called sucrose and this is just a animated video normal mp4 video and let's check out the cpu usage let's uh, and you can see it's using a mpv player in the background to play that video and it's using a lot of cpu it's not a lot for vm because there is only two cores but still it uses another you know media player to play that video so yeah it's going to use more cpu and now without any third-party application 
look at the CPU usage. I actually like this one. This is actually interesting. Yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.